morning, so we are going on our little trip today. I've woken up just like really achy and tired. I think it's because I didn't sleep well last night because of the winds. It was super windy last night and I just kept on waking up because of it. Um, but I'm almost packed. I have everything that I need. Just double checking like little things before we leave. And then James should be here in about five minutes and then we're gonna go. I'm so excited and so ready. But it does look like it's gonna rain, but it'll be fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye, Mum. <laughs> Thank you. Well, <laughs> okay, so we've just had to turn back around because James has forgotten his wallet. And I've also forgotten my pack of apples, but we're not going to go home to get them. our log at our log cabin it is so cute it's so different to our one that we stayed in last year because it's like proper like all wood inside so i'll show you from outside so right okay so you've got like the decking and then the hot tubs over there you come in um and like this is what you see it's so cute so this is the boiler <laughs> interesting this is the main bedroom um, and like our car is just there, so that's like really good. The ensuite, it's got a shower, sink, and toilet. Hey! <laughs> um, and then this one has a bath and a toilet as well. Where's the light for this one? Oh, okay, there. And then you walk through, there's a spare bedroom, which obviously is not going to get used because it's just the two of us. Oh wow, you can feel the heat coming off that now. And then you walk through and you've got the kitchen with the like dining room kind of thing and living room. The ki would you say this kitchen's bigger? No, the other kitchen was bigger, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what this is. Do you think? Like the kitchen space. Oh. Um, and then the like living area. I definitely think it could do with like a coffee table. Do you think? Maybe. Yeah. Um, and then out here. Did you lock this? And then out here you have the hot tub with a decking. A decking? With deck chairs. And then down there you actually have um, train lines. And then there's all the other lodges. Ooh, should we go in it now? <laughs> James, you don't want to take it off completely. Oh, so it literally just, it doesn't fold, it just lays off. Yeah. But yeah, it's so cute. The bubbles. issue as well we bought an enchilada kit but we don't have any cheese or like any fry light to cook like oil to cook the chicken in so we're probably gonna have to make a stop somewhere to try and get some cheese <laughs> but this is our fridge for four days <laughs> I just said to James I said I think we're gonna need some more food because we've got sponges obviously tomorrow we're gonna have like an eat out takeaway we've got chicken for wraps and stuff when we go walking chicken breast for when we make pastas sausages and eggs for the morning and um, Pepsi to go with the Malibu and then we've got like some bananas and shortcake bites. But I just have a feeling that we're gonna need some more food, but I'm so excited to go into that hot tub. It's so cool because the hot tub's in the floor, whereas last year our hot tub was obviously on top of the decking. And we ran into a dilemma as well. Obviously we've got the bedroom with the tiny little um, storage things there, but there's no like storage cabinets for our cloves. Which side you're having? <laughs> um, probably that side. 
So we've just left our lodge and we're actually gonna walk to the store to get some cheese. And um, what else do we need? Cheese and, oh, fright light. So we were gonna uh, drive, it's 1.8 miles. I'm just gonna walk. So we're actually turning back. We, we were walking and then we were like, hmm, we've been walking for quite a while and it said it was 1.8 miles. And so I Googled it and we'd only done 0.8 of a mile, so we weren't even halfway and we've been walking for a good like half an hour. So we're just walking back, but we found like a rural route. But look at how nice this is. This is so pretty. But you can see there's loads of paths that people are walking on. Yeah, we're gonna go back get the car and then drive to the Asda. So we're now on our way to the shop in a, in a car. Um, we went back and just like had a drink and stuff, but it was nice though, because we managed to see the lake because we found a shortcut coming back, which is why it didn't take us as long to get back than it did to go there. Um, but I reckon that when we get there, we'll be like, oh my god, I'm so glad we didn't walk. So obviously, when you go shopping, you always leave with more than you expected to buy. So, and it's all uphill. It's very hilly. <laughs> so, grateful we got a car. Well, got the car. Oh my god. Your, okay, James's car. <laughs> okay, so we are now going to go in the hot tub. James is just sort, I look naked, but I'm not wearing a bikini. James is just sorting out. Hello, there's yourself. <laughs> um, so yeah. Here's our little hot tub, and we're probably just gonna chill in the hot tub. We've got our enchiladas ready for tonight, and our syrup sponges. What? Oh, and we're drinking Malibu and Coke. Shocked to anyone who knows. We look naked. Okay. <laughs> so it's a couple hours later. Uh, we were only in the hot tub for maybe what 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, and then it got really warm, so we've come in. But this log cabin looks so cute with like all the lights on. Um, so we're gonna cook tea. We're gonna have nachos. We've been snacking on them, they're so good. With salsa and sour cream and obviously cheese. And then, yeah, James is really warm, so he's not wearing a top. <laughs> We're gonna have chicken, oh, chicken enchiladas. They're an easy go-to. And then as we were walk, as we were coming back from Tesco, we saw that there's an actual, an actual? <laughs> a 1950s American diner down the road and it looked so good because it nice hair. It had all of the like lights and it was, I don't know if you've ever seen Riverdale, um, Pop's Chocolate Shop, Chocolate Shop is, or Chocolate Stop, I can't remember what it's called, but the thing in Riverdale where they all get a milkshake is exactly like that, I'll take my camera with me and show you, but we're going to go there afterwards and get like a milkshake and a pudding maybe, depending on how full we are, but we had to go to a petrol station to get sunflower oil and cheese because we didn't have any and it's good job that we didn't walk to the Alster because we were going completely the wrong way <laughs> and we've decided that tomorrow we're gonna do we're gonna head off into Derbyshire maybe and then Sunday we're gonna go to the zoo because there's a zoo nearby and then Monday Tuesday sorry we have to check out our tent but let's not talk about that because we just got here Struggle. We couldn't, we were sat on the floor waiting for the oven to warm up for about. Um, so we had to call maintenance to ask how the oven works, and we turned it but we didn't press it in to spark the, it's like ignite the gas or electricity or whatever. Um, but wow! <laughs> so we've got nachos and enchiladas. And then, like I said earlier, we're going to go to that milkshake parlour, the American diner, afterwards for. A milkshake. <laughs> just 
had that massive ice cream bowl which was so much bigger than we thought it was going to be it was absolutely huge and then we had two milkshakes as well which maybe wasn't the best idea but they were thick like thick you couldn't i couldn't drink them and i had to say to the person I was like is there anything we can do because i can't physically drink this milkshake it was just ice cream in a cup and considering we had a massive bowl of ice cream i was like i need a drink <laughs> um but no it was really good and it just reminds me of riverdale if anybody's watched riverdale it just reminds me so much of it and just the atmosphere is good isn't it like they're playing the classic american songs and I don't know, everything's just really good. So now we're gonna head back to the log cabin. What are we gonna do? We're we gonna go in the hot tub again or just. Ta da! Ta da! Um, but I'm so full, like, I literally can't move. But it was nice. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to the Heights of Abraham, so we'll be up at like half eight ish, set off for half nine. Um, it's gonna rain until 12 tomorrow, but it'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> Shock. Ha! Not focus. Again. Shock. Ha! See ya! <laughs>